So, you know, sometimes what I find um, in folks, you know, I'm working with uh, several clients who have um, some hip issues, some low back issues, some, some sacroiliac joint dysfunction. And sometimes what happens in those cases is we discover that the back is doing too much work. It's trying to do some work that the glutes just aren't willing to do. So we're gonna take a couple of uh, yoga tune-up balls and we're gonna use these uh, to determine is our low back doing too much work? Is it trying to do the work for the glutes? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lie down and place these underneath my low back, right in the quadratus lumborum. If you know where that is, these are these muscles that get really tight. The first ones that get tight in your low back, usually, typically. So if I take my uh, fingers into my belly button and trace them around, my fingers hit the balls, you know you're in the right spot. All right, now here's the good part. We're just gonna swish the knees side to side for a little bit and breathe and relax. And of course you might wanna come back and do, get some more minutes in doing this because it feels so nice. But let's say, okay, so let's say, and we're gonna test the, the left side first. So our knees are gonna swish over to the left and they're gonna hold. Now I don't want them like low to the floor. I just want them kind of off to the angle. And when we squeeze our glutes, we're gonna squeeze our left-sided glutes, just the left side, squeeze and relax. And I want you to pay attention to your low back, squeeze and relax. And you can kind of get a rhythm going, squeeze, relax. And if you feel your low back muscles just tensioning up against that ball, it's likely that your muscles are doing a little too much work for your glutes. And so you wanna back down and the amount of effort that you're using here in the squeeze of your glutes until you don't feel your back contracting against the ball. And it might be little gentle glute squeeze, it's not a problem. But what we're really training in, we're training your brain and the neurons that are firing in your brain when you're using your back and your, and your glutes. We're training them to, to work together, but not necessarily do the same action. Like they can, they can be part of the orchestra but you know, your, your horns are gonna play the horn piece and your violins are gonna play the violin piece, sort of like that. So if we take our knees over to the other side, and then we're gonna test the side. We're gonna squeeze the right side glutes while the knees are kind of over to the right and relax and see, is that going on on this side? And it's likely, you know, if you have one-sided hip pain, one-sided low back pain, um, and that is the case on one side or the other, that the other side will be a little less quick to pick up the slack. Squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. And same thing, you don't have to squeeze 100% in those glutes. You just wanna to squeeze to the point where you can still feel your back relax, but your glutes on and off. And from here, like if you repeat this, um, you, your brain, like the neurons are, are memorizing this information, they're getting this information saying, oh, okay, my glutes can work separately from the back. And so then you start to be able to squeeze a little stronger the more times you practice this exercise. So roll to your side and sit up. So that's one way that you can uh, kind of get a sense of maybe that's happening um, in your body. All right, stay tuned for more of this kind of work and, um, and, and more. <laughs> hit subscribe, hit that little thumbs up button, and uh, we'll see you again soon.